The Return of the Native Thomas Hardy The novel opens with the action of the plot already underway. The Redelman degree when rides onto the heath with Thomas and Obright in the back of his wagon. Her marriage to Damon Wilde was delayed by an error in the marriage certificate, and Thomason collapsed. We soon learn that Wilde orchestrated the error himself. He is infatuated with Eustace V, and is, at least to some extent, using Thomason as a device to make Eustace jealous. When Wen learns of the romance between Eustace and Wilde, his own love for Thomason induces him to intervene on her behalf which he will continue to do throughout the novel. But Vence attempts to persuade Eustacia to allow Wilde to marry Thomason, like his own marriage proposal to Thomason, are unsuccessful. Into this confused tangle of lovers comes Clem Yobright, Thomason's cousin and the son of the strong-willed widow Mrs. Yobright, who also serves as a guardian to Thomason. Eustacia sees in the urbane Clem an escape from the hated heath, even before she meets him, Eustacia convinces herself to fall in love with Clem, breaking off her romance with Wilde, who then marries Thomason. Chance and Eustacia's machinations bring Clem and her together, and they begin a courtship that will eventually end in their marriage, despite the strong objections of Mrs. Eobright. Once Wilde hears of Eustacia's marriage, he again begins to desire her, although he is already married to Thomason. In marrying Eustacia, Clem distances himself from his mother. Yet distance soon begins to grow between the newlyweds as well. Eustacia's dreams of moving to Paris are rejected by Clem, who wants to start a school in his native country. Wilde inherits a substantial fortune, and he and the unhappy Eustacia once again begin to spend time together, first at a country dance, where they are seen by the omnipresent observer Degree Wen and then later when Wilde visits Eustacia at home while Clem is asleep. During this visit, Mrs. Eobright knocks at the door. She has come hoping for a reconciliation with the couple. Eustacia, however, in her confusion and fear at being discovered with Wilde, does not allow Mrs. Eobright to enter the house. Heartbroken and feeling rejected by her son, she succumbs to heat and snake bite on the walk home, and dies. Clem blames himself for the death of his mother, he and Eustacia separate when he learns of the role that Eustacia played in Mrs. Eobright's death, and of her continued relations with Wilde. Eustacia plans an escape from the heath, and Wilde agrees to help her. On a stormy night, the action comes to a climax, on her way to meet Wilde, Eustacia drowns. Trying to save her, Wilde drowns as well. Only through heroic efforts does Degree Wen save Klim from the same fate. The last part of the novel sees the growth of an affectionate relationship, and an eventual marriage, between Thomason and Degree. Klim, much reduced by his travails and by weak eyesight brought on by overly arduous studies, becomes a wandering preacher, taken only half seriously by the locals.